Today I'm going to quickly explain the difference between ketosis and fat adaption. So ketosis is a temporary metabolic state that your body goes into when it is producing ketones. Most people run on glucose for energy and the glucose is converted from carbs, sugars, things like that that you eat. When your body doesn't have enough glucose to run on, it will switch to burning fat, which is also ketones and ketosis. This is a natural state that your body goes into during different scenarios. Pregnant women will naturally go into ketosis at times. You can also enter into ketosis after a really hard workout session or long endurance activities. Um, this is a natural process that your body uses as a safeguard for when there is not enough glucose to burn. It's completely natural, it's completely safe, and it is actually the preferred fuel source for your body and your brain. There are a select few functions that your body needs glucose for, and your liver is able to produce that glucose that it needs for those functions from the proteins and carbs that you eat from veggies and things like that. <laughs> like I said before, ketosis is temporary, so if you're in it, for a couple days and then you eat a carby meal or have a carb day, you will be knocked out of ketosis. So fat adaptation is when your body learns that it should be using fat as its primary fuel source. If you are in ketosis for a prolonged period of time, your body will switch to fat adaptation mode. And if you eat a carby meal or have a carb day, your body will burn through that quickly and then quickly get back into ketosis because it knows that your body is preferring to burn fat as fuel now. So pretty simple, ketosis is more of a temporary state that you can go in and out of. Fat adaptation is when your body knows and learns that it should be burning fat and ketones for fuel instead of glucose. You can lose your fat adaptation if you have prolonged periods of going back to eating carbs. I've had a lot of people ask me what the difference is between ketosis and being fat adapted, and I hope this is a simple explanation for you to understand the difference. There is also a dangerous condition called ketoacidosis, which a lot of people mistake for ketosis. Ketoacidosis can only occur in people with type 1 and I'm not sure about type 2 diabetes, but this is a condition where your body produces way too many ketones and your liver is not able to regulate the number that it's using. This can only happen in diabetics. For a healthy individual without diabetes, your body will be able to regulate ketones at a healthy level and you'll never get to a point where your ketones are out of control. So if you don't have diabetes, there's nothing to worry about as far as ketoacidosis is concerned. I have seen quite a few people who have type 2 diabetes who are able to get off their medications when they keep their ketones and blood sugar in check with a ketogenic diet. Because your body is running on fat and not the highs and lows of sugar glucose, your body is able to stay at an even pace with blood sugar and that can really be healing for a lot of people with type 2 diabetes. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.